Hey, what's up guys? It's your favorite cheese. I'm back here with some new functionalities within C2. Um, what I'm working on at the moment is trying to get some of the functions that are currently only accessible on squat level and giving them access to high command, um, which is not always that easy. In this case, it was rather tricky. What I've done here is um, giving the um, assembly and disassembly of static weapons access to high command level and it comes in a few different shapes so the first example here is that we have a high command group and uh, it consists of two guys that are already carrying around the necessary backpacks to assemble a tow launcher so if this is the case and they already have the backpack you need to give a waypoint and then uh, you get access to that functionality via the waypoint action so i'm going to select assemble static weapon and then this can be used for weapon orientation and the guys when they arrive at that waypoint they're going to assemble the uh, toaster that they are carrying around which is quite nice in the right direction and once they've done that one of them is going to board the vehicle um, and the other guy is just going to wait there. Now, in theory, you could have this guy running around and distance himself from the weapon, which is why I made this little um, icon here, which gives you the weapon type and also the group ID of that group. So uh, if you would have like moved these guys around, you would know how to get them back there so they could disassemble the weapon again because a unit without a backpack needs to be uh, closer than 30 meters for that to be possible sorry for that complicated sentence anyways to disassemble a weapon you need the group context menu which is control and right click on the icon and you can see that here this became available an option to pack the static weapon so the guy's gonna dismount and then uh, they're gonna assemble the static weapon. This was available because the script detected that one of the group members is inside of a static weapon. But what if the static weapon is just close by, which is the case here. There's two guys that don't have a backpack and there is a mortar right in front of them. So if you open the group context menu on that group, it's also going to have um, this button available, but it doesn't know what static weapon it's supposed to pack up yet because none of the units is inside of one. So um, then this little uh, window becomes available. And then if you, yeah, double click, unfortunately, have to double click on it, which also brings up the uh, marker thing. I have to fix that somehow. But anyways, they're now going to uh, disassemble the mortar. And now, uh, just as you did before, you could set a waypoint and then have them assemble the weapon again with the orientation. So now this is a mortar and same with mortars and any kind of artillery. Those are typically not very useful on high command level unless you have a module on the map, which is basically never going to happen. So this is why I included it kind of myself or I, I built one myself. Um, now, if one of the units is inside of the artillery um, piece, you can use the group context menu again, and then it's going to have this button as well, which is fire artillery. If I click that, it's going to ask me for the type of shells. This is only single click at the moment. Um, you can select a maximum of uh, four. I'm going to go for three, and now it's going to wait for a map click input, um, and I'm going to fire on that house over there so this is my own custom little artillery module so uh, you don't need to have the bis module on the map let's wait for splash boom i do think this is quite nice because uh, having static weapons in your squad can be rather confusing and end up with uh, undesired behavior sometimes if you're not really paying attention so this is rather nice this is what i wanted when i played my last uh, couple of liberation missions and whatnot and uh yeah so i was thinking maybe you get a kick out of it too cool hope you enjoy this matt cheese see you guys soon